Today we're looking at recovering highlights from raw video with ProGrade Digital. Nothing says video more than blown out highlights. This is because early camcorders had very little dynamic range, sometimes only four stops. Anything that didn't fall within this range blew out to white or was crushed as black. This clipping is a telltale sign of video and most shooters try and avoid it. Film, and by that I mean celluloid, has as much as 15 stops of dynamic range. And as a result, it's easier to expose for both the lightest light and the darkest dark in your image. This also means properly exposed skin and skies that don't blow out into white. Modern film cameras like the Arri Alexa or the Canon C200 have a dynamic range similar to film, but this doesn't mean they don't still blow out if you don't expose them right. To get the most out of shooting RAW with ProGrade digital cards, you'll need to know a little more about the tools that you're working with. Here we have a clip in log format that's properly exposed, but when we apply the manufacturer's Rec. 709 lookup table, or LUT, even though the skin looks nice, the added contrast has blown the highlights into white. Now, we could use the main control here to bring the skies back into range, but that would make the skin darker than we want, because, after all, the face of the actor is where we want our focus. If we click over to this tab and drag just the highlights, we get skies that reappear but leave the mid-levels untouched. If the range is too big or small, we can fine tune it by using the range value. So there you have it, an easy way to get the look you want without pushing your highlights into white. To get the most out of shooting raw video, check out the range of CFast 2.0 cards from ProGrade Digital in the link below.